episode 77 done. Yeah. We um, hit up UFC 231 yesterday. The T City fight versus Max Holloway. Yoani and Jacek versus um, Shevchenko. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Very insightful. What'd you think, Fish? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's good. I think we go in topic that is something not major to think about. That's true. Yeah, actually, that's very, very true. You're right. You're right. Cool. Um, yeah, so if you want to support the podcast, pick up the teas on Teespring at shop.lmfire.com. Or alternately, you can uh, comment, like, share, subscribe. I like, I like how you changed the order up there. I like yeah, I the like. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, also, she loves the video replies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're still waiting for one of those. Yeah. But... Yeah, hope you enjoy. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom, we are back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. This is episode 77. Right? Yes. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's a great way to enter into this one. You got double digits, same digits. It's almost like kismet. Yeah, so anyways, this is not your... Well, this is your regularly scheduled podcast where we talk about one thing from the week. Just kidding, it's supposed to be four, but we're going to only talk about one thing. Because we saw probably one of the most gladiatory events ever. It sounds cool. Sounds cool. When we say that. It, it sounds cool. It sounds cool when you hype it. You're right. It sounds cool when you hype it like that. Yeah. You know? It's a gladiator event. <laughs> We've seen two right. men enter the octagon. Yeah. And then that is really what it is. It's like it's like the hype surrounding yeah. it. So like, uh, this is probably one of the most enlightening events for me, okay, because I I always aspired to be like I I would never want to fight in the UFC, but because I love martial arts, I would love to like coach in the UFC, right? Maybe, like maybe, okay. But then like seeing it actually in person, yeah, it completely dispelled the entire mystery. Okay, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, why would I ever want to do this? Right. You know what I mean? So like, let, let, let me just um, let, let me just let me just. So quickly, yeah, what we saw, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to first go with the uh, the historical reference. So, like, when we went to Rome and we went to the um, the arena, right, the yeah. Colosseum, and then we were, like, listening to it and we were, they, they were, like, talking about, um, like, how how it was and, like, how there was, like, like, when you see it, it was, like, uh, seats and they said, like, oh, people would uh, sell food. Mm-hmm. You could buy, like, bread, wine, whatever, and then people would often, like, leave to go party and then they'd come back. Mm-hmm. to like to the venue to sit down and then watch the the events happen right yeah, yeah. and i was like that's exactly what we did yesterday yeah yeah you know i mean like mm-hmm. like it was completely stripped away there was no announcer there was no like music it was just like complete silence you could hear during everyone. the fight during the fight yeah of yeah. course yeah. and it's like yeah. that's what it would have been like back in the day like we yeah, this yeah, is yeah, literally yeah. I, I know i said it poetically before and it was like it was the knowledge, mm-hmm. you know. It's like, oh, I know this is supposed to be like a gladiator event, right? But I didn't like, I did, I wasn't wise to it. Like, I didn't have the experience. I only had the knowledge. So going to it, it's like, oh no, we are really reliving the same things as we did thousands of years ago. Yeah, we just don't think of it like that. No. Nothing's changed. We think everything's like, like this sport itself is more closer to. The- to what we've always to, been doing. To that gladiator time, right? A hundred percent. But it, it was almost like when I saw it, it was like very uh, barbaric. I was like, I could see. Mm-hmm. So like yeah. now now they're fighting like shirtless and like, you know, punching and stuff. But it's like, no, back then they would have fought with swords. Yeah, or whatever or weapon. Way, or whatever weapon. Or they yeah. would have fought animals. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? that's true. Or, or like they even said they had ship battles. So like in the Coliseum, oh. yeah, it was crazy. When we went there, they said or the that chariot they, ones too, right? Chariot ones too. But but this is the craziest one that they'd fill up the Coliseum. Oh, I did not with, know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh damn! And when we went there, it was crazy. They're like so they wait, they got up a, water and they bring the ships huge. and they have a ship battle. That's a huge what? I know it's nuts, right? So that's a huge arena to fill so much water with. It's it's pretty huge, but it's not like. I'm just saying, like, like the stuff we have today is that, way bigger. No, 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 no. Yeah, I get it's that. It's pretty big, though. Still. But I'm saying, like, they must have had some pumping system going on. Yeah, they did. 
Yeah. Yeah, they did. Like, yeah, I they wonder how they. Water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How did they like? What kind of technology? Yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, what I'm asking about because we have machines that kind of like. You know for what sure. Mean? For sure. So yeah, like, yeah. Well, how how did they you know bring in the water? They, that's they also even, interesting. They even know. said they had trap doors. Yeah. So like. Uh, in the middle of a fight, they'd pop out a tiger or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That that like, I've seen in movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah but like yeah. it's like that stuff's real. But like yeah. so with this, it's like we are literally back in that in that time. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. going to it yesterday was like it was such an eye opening experience, and it's like so so for me like leading up to the event, I wanted to go to everything. I wanted yeah, to you know saw everything. everything. Right? So I yeah. saw the press conference, I saw the weigh ins, mm-hmm. I saw the open workout, and like all their friends were walking around. And it was like, oh, you guys are normal. Like, like because I used to play shows, right? Like, yeah. Band, like very small. You were in it too. And you were like my my entourage coming, right? <laughs> if, if you think about it, right? Yeah, in yeah. that way, right? Because you come see me and like, oh, you're friends with the band? Uh, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's sort of like that. It's like, oh, you're friends with the fighter? But it's like when you've, when you've done this kind of stuff mm. before, yeah. you dispel the illusion. Especially because I've studied marketing. So it's like I understand how like who's getting all this pay. Like, these people right now, like, this guy Bruce Buffer who's holding the mic in this video if you're watching it, like, he's, he's like, he's just a showman. Yeah, of course. He's just, he's just there to hype the people. Yeah. But did you notice that, like, the speakers weren't even good? Like, you know, like, when you watch on TV, like, because cause I was texting, like, my cousins, my, my other friends, and they were like, they're like, oh, my God, it looks so hype. Oh, is it sick there? I'm like, no, it's, nobody's cheering. Well, they were when the they, they main were. event. No, no, was no, going no. On. They, they were, they were, but they said that the whole thing was hype. Like the way that they made it look on TV was like, "Yo, you guys like." Well, yeah, we did notice show. like the. Uh, I, I did pick out those um, microphones. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I would assume that they wouldn't um, like, you know, uh, raise the volume of whichever side is a little bit louder. For sure, for sure, they were right. searching and they're like, "Okay, hey, let's turn up the mic." Like they must have side. like a volume. Like they must have like a yeah, like a. Like it's a volume it, range that's going on. One hundred percent, and it's also like how when I went to the press conference, what? But they, I kind of enjoyed it, anyways. Yeah. Okay, yeah wait, wait. When when I went to the press conference, um, like Max said something, and then he dropped the mic, and I was like, okay, you just put the mic down. It's like whatever, and then I watched the same video on Instagram of what I'd see of what I'd seen, and it was like they over amplified the sound of the mic drop, mm-hmm. and it looked like so dramatic. He's like. Well, blah, 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 bang, dropped the mic. And it was like, boom. And it made it seem like, oh, shoot, like stuff was about to be popping. But it was like when we heard it live, I didn't even hear the mic drop. Right. You know what I mean? It's like it's all an orchestrated show. I mean, yeah, well, it, and, it has to be. And, and us in the crowd. There's a method to sell we, the product. 100%. But this us in the, the crowd paying. Yeah. Um, Oh, what he's doing right now is a Kesa Katami. Oh, that's an arm triangle choke. It's so funny studying like with with Carlos now. I'm like, oh, yeah. I totally understand these moves now. He's taught us all these things, right? right? But anyways, so like, um, so like, it's crazy to think that we paid like 300 bucks. That was a short fight. We paid 300 bucks. That was short. For that's not how it happened in real life. No, <laughs> um, no, that's the exact opposite. Yeah. So if you're listening to this, you definitely got to watch this on YouTube. Because we're just playing a simulation of, of the fight. But anyways, yeah. so, um, so like, it's interesting to think that we, we paid, like, $300 for our seat. Mm. But it's, like, but the experience was so crappy. I would have rather been at home watching it. Because, right. like, so I could actually study the technique. Like, yeah. so jo- Joe Rogan always said that there are two people that type, two types of people that watch the UFC. There's the ones that are, like, hype fans. They're not. They don't really know what's going on. They're just like, oh my god, bloodshed! Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, right? that that sounds more like the old and gladiator time. Exactly, and then and like. then they're actual students of martial arts, where it's like right. they don't care about the glitz and glamour. They just want to see what technique are you using to win this battle, mm-hmm. which is which is where I fall under. So when I went there, I was like, oh my god, this is so dumb. Like they spent more money on the camera systems for the pay per view than our experience. Uh, uh it, was, yeah. it felt so stripped away there was like no it was silent so like what commentary are you guys talking about right yeah you know what i mean like like because because like when they're watching like oh my god joe's shouting that's why they have color commentators that's why they have joe rogan without yeah. joe rogan the pay-per-view is gonna be crap yeah it's like if you want to know what a ufc experience is like uh turn the volume off on your uh TV screen, mm-hmm. and then it's closed, but it's still not the same because they cut the camera angles. So it seems faster than it is because they they're every like 
four seconds, they're changing the angle. Right. So, like, I remember when I first watched the UFC, I was like, oh, my God, these guys are amazing fighters. Like, their fight speed is so fast because my eye's trying to catch what they're doing every four seconds, right? But then when you watch it live, you're like, oh, no, this is the same speed I spar at. Like, this is this is normal for me. Like, I thought you guys were going to be, like, like, really fast. But there are people that are super fast, right? Like, who actually do have a faster fight speed yeah. than what I'm used to. Okay. And those people are the ones that are killing it in the UFC because they're really good martial artists. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, yeah. then, and then they come from these other organizations. And then, like, people are like, oh, my God, you guys are – they're they're crushing all the divisions. It's like, no, because the, most of the fighters in the UFC are amateurs. Like, they're not really good. They're not excellent at what they do. Yeah. They're just the ones getting – and the ones that are excellent are just making money out of it. Like, Valentina. She like when Joanna first came to the UFC, she was an amazing MMA. Uh, she was an amazing Thai fighter. Okay, that that girl. The yeah, first yeah, 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 yeah. She's yeah. an amazing Thai fighter, and then people are like, "Oh my God, she's amazing! She's destroying all the people." It's like, yeah, because all of her other competition doesn't have the skill set to match this. Mm-hmm. Like she came from a very tough league, but then when when Valentina came, yeah, she had defeated Joanna twice in competition already. Right. I I like the way she entered into the ring because she knew that she's was... like. Well, uh, what I felt like when I was watching this, like, because they put on the specific music. Yeah, this yeah. is like WWE. I mean, oh God, why do so, we all start with the... That's the so funny that you said that. I made this post. All right, so uh, if you're curious about our experience, go to uh, at Irville James. I did a whole story series on it. But you... All right, go ahead. And I wrote that. I, I didn't yeah, no, like, this, I, I, it's like, I noticed that. I'm like, uh, like this every fighter's so got a specific music. <laughs> you're going to walk in. You're going to do a little dance, you know? All right, some of them were dancier. And then, yeah. and, then, and then I like Valentina because... So the reason why she's like that is she trains at Tiger Muay Thai. Okay. In Thailand. Yeah. And in Thailand... By the time you're like 20, you've had a thousand fights, Mm -hmm. right? But people are like, oh my God, a thousand fights. Oh, it's going to be like USC. You're going to have all this brain damage. No, 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 no. Because the Thais know that they're pawns for gambling. Right. In Thailand, the fighters know that they're only there so that bettors can make money. Mm -hmm. But in the West, we glorify them as as heroes, as like idols. We also bet though. That's what I'm saying. But nobody thinks about the bet. We do bet, but because of the glitz and glamour, you don't you forget about the betting. You think that they're amazing superstars, but in Thailand, they know that they're just they're just. Well, yeah, I mean, you can you can you can. There are a significant group that is betting, but I don't know how many people are in this arena. But in Thailand, it's it's all betting. That's the whole reason why they created this. Nobody's like, because because in Thailand, those are all poor people. The the fighters are all like poor. Yeah, 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 right. They're and trying to make money. I understand. They're trying to make money. Yeah. So they're like, okay, if I can wow the betters, then – like we've been doing this throughout history, like getting yeah. different things to fight. If it's not humans, it's dogs. If it's not dogs, it's it's like chickens, you know? Mm-hmm. If it's not chickens, it's fighting fish. Yeah. We, we just – we're just betting. Yeah. These people are just pawns for our betting game. Right. And some people know it. So like I watched Max Holloway's fight. He's like, I don't care – like his interview, post-interview, mm-hmm. and he's like, I don't care. Just feed me. It's like, yeah, because you know that you are a gladiator. You are a pawn for making money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And the reason why I love Brian Ortega is because, like, even if you watch the way he walks out, it's like he knows that he's only here to put on a show to gain exposure for other things. He knows that this doesn't define him as no, a no, person. No, 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 of course, yeah. yeah. But this, certain this, people this, do. Certain people right, do. Right. Not, not, to call out, not to call out certain people, <laughs> but there are certain people that think that you are a hero just because you fight in a ring. No, no, no. You're the world champion of people crazy enough to do this. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like you're yeah. not, you're not really the world. Ch- if you're the world champion, you probably wouldn't even be fighting. Like, what about the people that train with the world champion? And they're like, no, no. Why would I fight? You guys are crazy. I'm just gonna go to my nine to five and get more money than you. Right. You know. Yeah. Like no head trauma. Mm-hmm. Like why would I hurt myself like this? Yeah. And like, um, so it was a back to Valentina. Uh, she. This is so funny watching all these moves now. After having studied it, I'm like, I totally do this when I'm when I'm training. I have I've done all these transitions too. <laughs> but like, none of this happened in the game. No, I mean, happened not in, the in game, real life. No, no, because no, yeah, because it's more <laughs> sloppy in real life. Yeah. It's like you, you're not really doing. Anyways, like this didn't even happen at all. This did not happen at all. Yeah. So, so Valentina, Va- Valentina in um, when she walked out, you're like, oh, I really like her, and she's playing her like traditional music because mm-hmm. she knows she's just a chicken in the ring for betting. So she's done this thousands of times. If you're a TIE fighter 
especially if you've come from Thailand and have fought in those competitions, yeah. you know it's all about betting. Gotcha. So you don't care about a claim. Mm-hmm. But there were some fighters that like literally like came out and they're almost like, oh yeah, you're the best, you're Canadian, blah, blah, blah. And then he was feeling himself too hard. He's like, yes, I am the master of these people. I am the best, blah, blah, blah. And then like... And then, I don't know if I... Uh, uh, no, you maybe. Could see, you could see it. Uh, no, no, no. I understand. That one fighter. No, 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 no. Right? You, 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 no, no, no. I understand that. I understand okay. that. I know that a lot... Of, I think they should know this too, though. But who, who, when you who? just... Like the, the, the fighters are fighting. No, no, if no. they have a Canadian flag, don't. they're going to have... Because you're in Toronto. Of course, of course. In, in course. Canada, but right? some people feel themselves too hard. Because... So Mighty Mouse, amazing. He's like, I wa- I'm going to post these like... Now that I've seen it in person, I'm gonna post the ones that I'm like, oh, they were telling us the whole time. Mighty Mouse is like, I don't care about the belt. Like that thing's gonna lose. That thing's gonna leave you as fast as it came. Yeah. Right. And then he was like, he was like, I was backstage with this, pers- this, this person. This is it's, it's more like a you can say like it's a commercial for their product next. He knows. Right? Like he wants to be sponsored. He yeah. wants to do movies. He wants to be sponsored by video games. Yeah. So like he was like he was in the back and he's like, hey, yeah, like been, he's this... like, hey, chill out. It's just a fight. Yeah. He said this to someone. And then she was like, no, it's not a fight. I it's just my life. Blah 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 blah. And he's like, he's like, oh man, you're taking this way too seriously. And then she lost. And then she went into like a spiraling depression. Yeah. yeah. It was like that fighter I, I heard on Joe Rogan. She's like she broke her she tore her ACL in the fight. And then she went crazy. She like not mm. crazy, but she went sad, and then right. she was like eating and like drinking and doing all these drugs mm. to like cope with the pain. And then she said the only thing that pulled her out of it was working with people with Parkinson's. It's like, yeah, because that's real, bro. Right now, you're you're you don't if you don't realize you're just a pawn for betting, then you're gonna be used and manipulated by the system. Yeah, and that's why Conor McGregor isn't a good. He's a good fighter, but what he is is he's a masterful marketer. Right. You know what I mean? Because, because mm. like, it's so funny that Brian keeps winning because the statistics in this game believe that Brian's better, but in real life, like he lost, handedly. <laughs> Darren hit us again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, he won again. Because no, the simulation believes that Brian's better. Right. Yeah. Anyways, so, but you know, Brian, I love you because I I can I can see because I've watched all his interviews. I'm like, I know why you're doing this. He almost died. Okay. He almost drowned. And he's like, I'm only here. Like, he's like, I'm here to make the most of my experiences because, like, I, I could have been dead, mm-hmm. you know? And it's like, when you're feeling yourself too hard, you get into the hype, and, of course, you're, re- you're ready for, like, a train fall. It makes me think of the Golden Globes or something or, like, watching movies behind the scenes. Like, we, like, we watch behind the scenes all the time, and it's yeah. like, it's so ridiculous when you see them on a green screen. But then when you watch them on TV, it's like, Hilarious. I mean, no, sorry, no, it's not hilarious. Amazing, yeah. but it's hilarious behind the scenes. Yeah, of course. You know, just like just like this is like this is is a great is basically a great example of don't piss on me and tell me it's raining. <laughs> this, this is another example of don't piss on me. The whole thing you were just. I think you, me. yeah, but if you like, I knew what I was getting into because I know what this is. Every I've been to many like you know we've been for to... sure. No, 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 no. I I knew what I was getting into, but I was like. I was deluded by the marketing as well. Okay. Yeah. I thought that it was something I mean, more than it was. The point of marketing is... For sure. Yeah. But I thought it was something more than it was. And right. then when you see it for what it is, you're like, oh, this is a delusion. Yeah. Yeah. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. this is not real. Okay. And it's like, <laughs> even this video game, like, we're playing this video game right now and like... Um, wait, what are you doing? Uh... No, don't worry, don't worry. Well, I just play a fight sim. We we will, we right. are. All right. So, anyways, so like, uh, when you watch the video game, you're like, oh my god, I'm playing as my character who like fight for his cause and like mm. was this amazing guy. Blah blah. Oh, I didn't know you could do this. This is sick. Yeah. Oh wow. So in the video game, all right. So if you're listening to this, you probably <laughs> know what's going on. But if you press the card, they'll actually gear up all the fights that were on the card, and they'll just sim it for you. Yeah, it is kind of from way before. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, so, but so, anyways, we'll get a better result this way. So, when you when you watch it in the video game, yeah, when you watch it on TV, it's all a production to make you believe that it's something that it's not. And then when you see them in real life, of course. Like, I mean, we're well, we are not. playing our extras in this audience right now. We are for sure, yeah, the extras, but we pay to be extras. Yeah, and that's why it's crazy. <laughs> and and like when you see them in person, you're like, but oh. you know. I knew what I was getting into, and especially from that line that I, you know, 
are we not are you not entertained yeah like, yeah true, that is yeah, the yeah, line yeah. that i always remember and but, that's what this is all about but if you watch entertainment all of the, though. so if you watch the embedded videos you start to think that they're more than they are if you have but no you could tell like is. no one really hates someone else like this is it's a whole setup that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's really a whole hates. setup to create hype to G- people to buy tickets or people to buy the pay-per-view. For sure. That's what this is. I'm going to post this one as well, but GSP, like, he outed it. He's like, oh, I hate Michael Bisbing, but I love Michael Bisbing. Right? <laughs> and he's like, oh, why? Joe Rogan's like, why? He's like, because, like, in front of the cameras, he's yeah. like, he's like, oh, you're nothing, yeah. George. You're nothing. And yeah. then all of a sudden they go to the bathroom, and then he's, like, going to take a piss, and, and – um, George is like, oh crap, it's Michael Bisping. Oh no, like I was just, he was just shouting at me, and he's like, oh cameras, eh, buddy? He's like, hey, you have that Eco Forester? <laughs> and then he's like, hey, I got it. He's like, oh, hey, how much the gas is on that? Oh, it's pretty good. All right, all right, all right. Game face, game face. All right, here we go. Oh, screw yeah. you! And, and then, um, and then, uh, what's his name? But I'm telling George you, George Saint is like, what's going it's on? It's not just in this. It's in a lot of things that are involved in media. Is, it's, it's in a in lot everything. of things that's in it. Yeah, yeah. But see, yeah. I thought this was the last thing that was real. Right. But then when you see it, you're like, either you're deluded yeah. into thinking this is real, <laughs> or... I you... just hope you didn't think... Like, yeah, and in, 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 I, I know what you mean, real, but they're... The hype is all made it's up, hype. but like it's they're... Hype. That's what it is. They're just normal fighters. They're just normal, normal, f- normal if you, people. If you fighters. don't know who these people yeah. are... So like when, when I watched the first undercard, I was like, I have no idea who these people are, mm-hmm. right? And they're all being paid $3,000 to fight on the undercard because that's the Reebok sponsorship, yeah. right? That's okay. the minimum. $3,000. You train a whole year, you have $3,000 for this. <laughs> right. And you got that's, smoked uh, for our entertainment. We were just slow clapping like, good job, monkey. Dance <laughs> for us. You know what I mean? That's how it felt. Because like, cause it was silent and all you hear is like, it would be different if like people were analyzing like, so I hear like uh, Hickson always said, it's better to fight in Japan. Because in Japan, it's like, it's silent and they're like, oh, good, good job, good transition. And they'll like clap, right? They'll clap when you're doing a good technique move. But here, people like, like in the crowd, stand and bang, fight for it. Yeah, you know but saying? there was like, claps too, though, right? There were like no, no, when it's if, different. Like I get it. Obnoxious people behind us. Like, of course, there's gonna be. Yeah, I mean. So remember mm. when you and I were talking, and I was like, okay, you want is you want. Remember, she tried to throw the qu- the kick, but because uh, Valentina had had kept Charlie horsing that one leg, she can't throw the kick anymore because if she puts the one leg in the air, she can't support all of her weight on that Charlie horse leg. Mm-hmm. Right. So oh, she's five five, just like me. See, could fought her. But anyways, <laughs> so um, so she couldn't put her leg. She couldn't kick anymore because all the weights on that one leg. Right. So if I heard that in the crowd, it's like, oh, you guys are really analyzing this fight. But the people behind us were like, were like, man, she keep her hands up, keep your hands up, uh-huh. don't do that. It's like, do you even know what it is she's doing? Right. It, do, like, how can you say like, uh, you're doing a poor job? It's like, but no, she can't kick anymore. Like your leg's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It's like and, and then and then the other girl turned around, you know it's like you know it's like a chess match. It's actually a lot harder than you think. I'm like, yeah, thanks for repeating another like another tagline that cliche. I've heard a, a cliche that I've heard a thousand times, bro. But what do you mean by it's a you know, like tell me what is actually going on. Mm-hmm. But nobody actually knew what was going on. They were just like, Blood, blood, blood you know? But then I was thinking of it, I was imagining, like, what if I was a friend of, like, Brian or, like, or Max, and then I was watching my friend fight in the ring. It's like, I would be like, dude, stop doing this. Like, your face is mangled, mm-hmm. and, like, you, you've, you've done it. Like, yeah, you're world famous now, bro. Like, walk away. You're good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's a steep price to pay. Of course it claim. is. Uh, of course, yeah. Of course, yeah. Yeah. And it's just... Trip me out. Yeah, I mean, it's like especially for these types of fights, like boxing. This it's like the same kind of. Makes me think of boxing. Like, is it just gonna be silent too? No commentary. I'm uh, pretty sure. So then it's like. I think so. <laughs> but so then it's like, damn, we're doing the same thing. It's like gladiator stuff, all over again. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. What would you think? Anything else? Um. Well, because I think I knew what I was getting into. I've been to, like, it's. I like I just find it entertaining as what it's supposed to be. Right, right, for sure. Right. I didn't come into it with uh, specific hype. 
mindset per right, se. Right, right. Okay. I'm here to just you're like oh it's enjoy gladiator time. Let show. me just let me just enjoy the yeah. gladiatorness. Yeah, for sure. And get a more like get an experience of what it may have been like. A hundred percent, hundred percent. In the time and, of the gladiator. That, that's why it, that's funny because we were laughing about it. Like I had I had, I easily spent like two hundred bucks last night. But like, <laughs> because I was just buying like, I bought like the popcorn, yeah, the yeah. pop, the pizzas, right. uh-huh. you know, and the t-shirt at the end. Because I was like, it, it's not that yeah, yeah. t-shirt I, was the expensive one, eighty bucks. <laughs> it's not that I wanted to buy these things. It's like I wanted to know what it feels like to be in it. Like, are right, you're trying to sell me all these things? What are you trying to sell me? Are you trying to sell me happiness? No, no, you're trying to take my money. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but it's like, it's like, how do people not know this? The food wasn't even good. Like, it's terrible for you. Yeah, it's terrible. Like, I, f- I still feel sick. Like, remember when I was going home, we were going home, like, oh, damn, I feel like I throw up. Because I just ate so much bad food. Even today, I feel like I ate so much bad food. Right? But it's like... Well, because you ate so much bad food. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. It's like, but that's what they're selling us. That's like, but it was just a means to make money. And everything was of overpriced. Whole, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Once you're in there, $10 it's... for a small bag of M&Ms. I was like, let's do it. Like, <laughs> let me let me see what it is you're trying to feed yeah, these people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, you're feeding them lies and illusions, bro. Like, it, it's like you, we're being prostituted. Not only the fighters, but the people... Who were in the arena, you know? I would have much rather have like eaten a great meal. I get I a hundred percent get why Joe Rogan's like, I'd rather do those fight companions than actually go to the UFC. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, it's probably amazing. And then Eddie Bravo's like, I haven't been to a UFC in like 10 years, right? And I'm like, why? But going to it, it's like, oh, I get it. It's more comfortable at home. Yeah. It's you can just stop watching and like, okay, I should do something else. Yeah, and you know, the, like, the commentary. You get the commentary. You get more a better experience. You get to see yeah. the better angle. Yeah. You know, and like, it just seems even bar- so barbaric. Even right now, if you look at it, like, because I never really realized it, I would always just obsess over the fighter, right? But you could see there's four people filming. Yeah. This fight. Like even right, even the video game. Look, look. Yeah, I know that. Camera, you can see this in, in when you watch it on TV. I know, but I never focus on it because I always I'm, focused on right, that. Right. See, I'm obsessed with martial oh, arts. Oh, because I. See, I like the production. I like the seeing how well the production is. I want to see the camera guys. That's your, that's your and like, mindset. That, that's yeah, that's my mindset. To... I'm like, no, but see, ooh, when they buy the fence, they gotta get off that and go right. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. Like that. And then you, I, you I say, pay oh, attention to and, that and, and a lot like, more. And, and you're like, you're like, okay, scramble to to get that angle. I think now. I'm more interested in the production of it because you don't want to be pissed on and be told it's raining. <laughs> it's true, right? Because you're like, you're like, what's really going on here? Right. I always I was I was obsessed with the fighting, so I was like, okay. I want to watch the rain, but then you realize, <laughs> oh, you're peeing on me though. Okay. You know, yeah. like I'd much rather have been at home, so I could I could study what moves you're doing. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, now. yeah, yeah. You know, and yeah. like, I mean, you need to do at least one. Like, this is our one-time oh, you, experience. You, you know, right? what? I wonder, I wonder, because like I truly believe Joe Rogan is a Zen Buddha. Okay. Okay. A Zen person is somebody who is fully uh, in the moment. Mm-hmm. They've just whatever it is you're doing. So they say like you will never know a Zen master when you meet them. If if you know he's a Zen master, then he's not a Zen master, because which is kind of paradoxical. But it's like a Zen person is just somebody who just enjoys their life, maximizes their experience, right? Right. And a Buddha is somebody who doesn't let the world affect them. You could call me names, and I just won't. Whatever. That's mm-hmm. your opinion, right? Yeah, yeah. That's a Buddha. So. I truly believe Joe Rogan is a Zen Buddha. He's just doing his job, and he realized the illusion of all of it. But I think I, if you I think, do it enough times, he does how many of these exactly. if he's done. Right? But I think Joe Rogan, and he does like a lot of psychedelics, so there's got to have been a point where he realized what we're talking about right now, and I think that's why he's trying to wake people up to it. He's like, you got to go to at least one UFC event. And I'm like, why? And then you go once, you're like, I get it. Because an illusion. But then the people that don't get it, they're just going to be like, oh, the, what an amazing show. It was so spectacular. It's like, no, no, you were sitting in crappy seats with crappy food. You had to pee, and there was billions of people there mm. that you had to wait in line with. Two fights broke out while we were there. This is the crazy part. Two fights broke out while we were in the UFC, in the crowd. <laughs> in the crowd. Yeah. And it's like... Dude, you're getting way worked up about people's lives right now. Yeah, well, they're like, also inebriated they, too, right? And they're like, that's my girl. Let's like, it, she, she's like, no, Joanna's my favorite. And it's like, bro, Joanna doesn't know you exist. 
Yeah. So okay. why are you fighting for her? Just enjoy her martial arts technique. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what a fan doesn't realize. A fan doesn't realize that they don't exist in the mind of the idol. Uh, God, he, God I doesn't think they know. know that. God or an idol doesn't know that we're alive. Yeah. We are a speck of dust in the cosmos. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. The reality is you're a speck of dust in Yoana's mind. She doesn't know you exist. Mm -hmm. No matter how much you believe she knows you exist, she does not know you exist in her mind. You may know yeah. everything. You're like, but that's why you get crazy fans. I read everything. I know everything about Oh, you. yeah. yeah. Of you're course like, you're going to get the crazy fans. And then fans. the guy's like, dude, I don't, the hell? I've never met you in my life. Yeah, I know that. that. I know that. Jo but jo I don't think everyone there is a jo crazy fan. No, of course, of course. Right. Like, like us. So we were like, okay, I want to see what's going on. Yeah. But see, Joe Rogan was like, he's like, the thing that I was listening to his podcast, he's like, the thing that I hate is when people come up to you and because you shit on your friends, they start shitting on you. They say the most meanest things, and then you're like, dude, why'd you say that? And they're like, but you, you guys say it to each other all the time. It's like, yeah, we're friends. Mm -hmm. You're hearing us on a podcast. Like, we can do this to each other, but I don't know you. You're just, you're just like a terrible human being in my mind now. Right. But you saw that through all those people that's sitting around us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what I found funny was like, the people on the undercard, when they're like, oh, yeah, I got my family tickets to the fight. And we were, we were in like one of the last rows. And, well, yeah, and, and not that, in the top. Yeah, we're in the top. That didn't and happen. And that, that did not happen. No, Iwana did not win. Um, so we were in the top, right? And, like, all these th – this one fighter had his family sitting behind us. Yeah. And then, and then he walked up. Everyone was cheering. This was her dream. Sorry. Yeah, this was her dream. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. 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 Uh, the, the, the family was, was sitting – behind us and then mm. he came up and i was like oh what's going on remember because i was on my phone like i was like trying to share the story and you're like oh yeah that guy just fought and like now he's back with his family mm -hmm. but i was like oh he's back in civ civilian yeah there was two clothes. of just two of them and that was well, like some guy's wife yeah so he was in, they were in civilian clothes and he was eating french fries mm. he probably when he finished his performance dana white's probably like oh here's a coupon to get free fries and that's where those fries came from, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like when you I doubt that he gave him a coupon. He probably didn't even buy him a coupon. He's just like, <laughs> good job. You made $3,000 for that fight. Go buy yourself some fries. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, and then that guy was like, oh, man, I just like put my life on the line for all of your entertainment. Mm. You know what I mean? That's the reality of the situation. You got to see what's going on backstage, you know? He probably never even met Dana White, except for that one handshake at the weigh-ins. He's like, thanks for doing this, buddy. You got, you're making your dreams come true, blah, blah. He's I don't even know if they meet the Dana fighter. White. You think they Dur meet no, Dana No, during, during the weigh-in. Oh, they meet them during. Because he stands there and he shakes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's, the only t that's probably the only time. Yeah, yeah. Even Brian said he's like, I've never met, oh, no, Stylebender. He's like, I've never met Dana White face-to-face -face until we were in a club. And somebody's like, oh, you're a UFC fighter? Here, come with me. And they brought him to Dana. He's like, oh, what the hell? I've never met you. Mm. You know? That, okay. Again, illusions. That's why I like yeah, listening to the fighters talk on you on Joe Rogan's podcast because they tell you like it really is. Mm -hmm. It's like all a game. Play play Nelson. I like Gunnar Nelson. Here, there, there's a guy, uh, Oben Mercier. Sorry, sorry to shout you out like that. My bad. My bad. Yeah, you're awesome. Oben. Still love the fact that you got in there. But he was the guy that was like, was like, yeah, they love me, I'm Canadian. And then as soon as he started losing, everyone started cheering against him. And it's like, yeah, that's bandwagon fanship, bro. No, uh, yeah, they were, they were only cheering Band bandwagon. at the beginning. Remember when he came out, like, his, his opponent yeah, yeah. Burns, No, no, no. They, they were will, like, boo, they will, boo. Yeah, no, 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 no. Then, no, no, no. But like, that's, yeah, just, you're that's, just be, that's because it's a country thing, right? But no, but that's what I'm saying. I, that's I what I'm saying. And he, that, he, was like, he was like putting his hand in the air like, yeah. I Most people that were there were Brazilian. Most people, oh, yeah, I mean, the fighters. Brazilians are, are, uh, are a uh, prize fight. The, not prize fight. I forgot what Hickson said. There's a name for it. Mm -hmm. You're a... Uh, not Lucha Libre. I forgot what it's called, but it's like, basically, you're a prize fighter. You're like a, a chicken cockfighter. You know, um, there's, there's like a word for it. But anyways. Yeah, there's a lot of them. That was there. Yeah, from, from Brazil, because that, that's their national sport. Like, that's what they all do. Yeah. So, so anyways, uh, I thought it was really funny that that guy was, like, feeling himself. Like, he's like, yeah, they love me. Mm -hmm. And then, like, he started losing, and then they are cheering against him. It's like, if they really loved you, they would have not done that. You know what I mean? It's illusions.
And then what, what I find so funny is watching the camera. Like, so as the person's walking in the ring, they're showing him, like, getting ready and whatever. But you're always like, what is the other guy doing? And then I was watching the other guy. The other guy's stretching. And then remember that one guy that – I forgot his name, but, like – Yeah, that's the thing I was like to he, know, right? Because – What are they doing behind the scenes? Behind the scenes. <laughs> So when the camera's on, but remember the one guy that was doing like those like uh, dive rolls? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. And it was like it was like okay. jump for me, monkey. Let me let me take some of the shine away from the guy's entrance. It's like, bro, just wait your turn. You already got your entrance. You don't need to jump around the ring, like to hype us all up. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but yeah. this is the whole idea, man. Are we not entertained? That's the whole point. Are we not entertained? Are you not? The, the thing that Are I found funny when when I was like, I was like, we get something, and then you're like, hey, watch watch the ring, girl. Get ready. Three, two, cameras coming on. All right, she put the sign back up. Yeah, this is what it's I like. It's hilarious. It's the production. Because it's like it's like when you see it on TV, it's like, oh wow, look, she's. Like she's geared to go. She's given us the time number, whatever, whatever. But then when you look at it without the camera, she's like, she's like bored. She's like waiting. She's like, all right, when am I gonna? Oh, oh put, put, put my sign in there. Okay, tell me when to go. Go. All right, start walking. Walk, walk, walk <laughs> yeah, around yeah, the yeah, ring. Yeah, yeah. This is my five minutes of fame. Walk around the ring. I remember uh, one of our friends is like, I won't name who it is, but he'll know if he hears this. But he's like, oh, one of my friends is a ring girl. And before I was like, oh my god, that's crazy. She's like, yeah, he parties with Dana. I'm like, what? That's crazy, man. To be in that world, blah, blah, blah. And seeing it, it's like, oh, that's just objectification, bro. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like, you are being prized just like, you're being prized for looking good in a bikini, just like they're being prized for beating each other up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, that's it felt like prostitution. It was like, you're just take, here, take my money. But this is what it is. Hey, though, right? Here, just take my money. <laughs> this is really what's going on, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't care about these people. This is a quick unfollow. You lost that match, unfollow, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, humans are fickle. Oh, we yeah. We don't really like... And and that that's why I think it was so funny. Remember uh, I telling you, like, as, as like, you, you came home, and I was like, yo, what up? I was making jokes when you came home. Mm -hmm. And, like... I was thinking about it. I was like, all these people wish that they could hang out with these fighters, these celebrities, these like actors, whatever, whatever. And it's like, no, you don't really know them, bro. Yeah, I don't want to hang out with them. I would never want to hang out with you because it's like, I like it'd be your awkward. craft. I like your craft, but it'd be so awkward. But, uh, that I, I'd make a joke I and you wouldn't you. understand the joke. <laughs> I'd rather just make a joke to you and then we'd laugh about the joke that yeah, I made because yeah, it's an yeah, inside yeah. joke. Because they have their own friends that they do that stuff with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And it's like, right. that's why I don't understand fanship. It's like, yeah, they're really good at fight. You know what? I wouldn't want to hang out with you, but I'd love to learn a lesson from you. I'd don't love be a stan. To... Don't be a stan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't be a stan, bro. And and like what what I what I prefer is if 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 I met you, I'd be like, hey, show me how you did that arm lock. Like, yeah, yeah, that's what I'd want to know. Or like right. or like if you're an amazing painter, like how did you come up yeah. with that painting, bro? I, that's so like that, those types of people are very. Limited, like like very. I, that's what I'm not saying. Not many at all. Not many. If if you actually pay, well, what was that thing you're saying? I I was saying, a real. Mar this is so negative to say, but like, <laughs> just I'm gonna throw it out there. Whatever, man. We got like low views. Doesn't matter. Nobody's gonna hear this until the future. <laughs> so he hears it, they play yeah, it back. Make and, an like, I can't I'm Sorry. We gotta make an apology. Yeah, like oh, so, so that's funny. Uh, the the difference between famous and not famous is crowd size. The person <laughs> the person didn't change. You know, he's still the exact same person, but we glorify them more, and we think that they're better just because a bunch of people follow them. No, he's still the same insecure, empty person. You just have a hundred thousand people following you now. Right. That's it. But all right, yeah, so. Yeah. I, I was saying that I think it's funny that um, no real martial artist, because I, I study, people are like, I study martial arts. Oh, what do you do? Oh, yeah, I like, I, I've been training jujitsu for four years. I'm a purple belt. Like, okay, yeah, you study the technique of martial arts, but you don't actually study martial arts. Martial arts is a mindset. It has nothing Along, to do it's, with... It's not just the f fighting, it's also the philosophy that's exactly. behind it. Exactly, and when you actually study those philosophical books, those historical references, yeah. you find out that it was all about killing. Mm. It had nothing to do with, like, okay, grab me here, grab me here. Like, that's why I love training with Carlos, because Carlos is always like, yeah, under rules, but if we were going to really fight, I would rip out your jugular right now. And I was like, I heard that at see, street fight. Yeah, street true. fight. I heard that in my first uh, martial arts academy that I trained at. They're like, oh, if I was really gonna fight you, I'd just like rip out your jugular, or whatever. But they had no technique. Yeah. So 
going to Carlos, who's showing me these crazy techniques, he's like, okay, this is a hold down. From this hold down, you could hold somebody down and hit them in the face. But alternately, if this was a real fight, you would just hold them down and poke their eye. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's so real. But there's no, there's no eye gouging, no biting, none of that stuff, right? Right. I was training with, uh, is all right. I was training with this person at, at martial arts. I won't say exactly who the person is, mm. but I was training with them. And it was hilarious because like I got them in a, we were we were, we were drilling a mount. Yeah. You hear that sound? Or whatever. We we were drilling a mount. Yeah. And then um, we were drilling an escape from a mount. Mm-hmm. And then when I when I was going for the mount, no no no. So so we were doing collar chokes. Okay, hold on. <laughs> sorry, that's our dog making an appearance. Oh yeah, she wants some love. Um, so I we so we we're we we're drilling a uh, collar choke, right? Where you sink two arms in. Okay, right. Bubba. Hold on. Okay, Bubba. Yes, go play. All right. So we we're we we're drilling a um, we we're drilling a collar choke. So what that is is you put one arm in, you put another arm in, and then you pull. You put one arm in the collar, another arm underneath the collar, and you pull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? So then uh, Carlos was like, okay, now I want you to do it where you're trying to put in the collar choke. They get one arm to defend, Mm -hmm. right? So my partner started biting my hand, and I was laughing. I was like, (laughs) yeah, you would do this in real life. You know? So I had to, like, move my hand out of the way, like, move her face. But, like, I was like, oh, if... If this was like sanctioned competition, you couldn't do that, and then you, that would not be an option. But because you were biting, I had to move. Yeah, your, yeah, yeah. You know, it yeah, changed yeah, the yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, somebody got me in an arm bar. This is why I love I love training with Carlos because he never lets anything off the table. Just don't hurt the other guy. Everything's off. The, nothing's off the table. Okay. So I, he was getting this one guy was getting me an arm bar, and I was like, mm. oh crap, I can't get out of this. Right. Okay. So I turned my hand, my fingers that were like towards his face, and I started squeezing his jugular. Okay. Like, I don't know if that's the game. Do you hear that? I don't know where that is. All right, whatever. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, so I, I was getting sorry for you listeners. So I, I was getting in an arm bar, and then I couldn't escape out of it because the guy was strong. So mm-hmm. I was like, okay, so I turned the hand. So when you're in an arm bar, your fist is close to their face because they're yeah. trying to break your arm, right? right? So I turned that fist around and I started to squeeze their jugular and they let go. Mm-hmm. Again, not real, not allowed in competition, but yeah, that's a real move. And then I got them in, I got them in side control. And then, uh, I, I was like holding them down, but I was like, okay, I need to move from this position, from side control. But I was like, I can't. <laughs> she brought her bone. Okay. I, I was like, I can't, I can't, um, I can't move to my next position unless you move. But the person I was with wasn't moving. So what I did was I put my elbow, I put my elbow onto their neck, okay. and then I started leaning my weight on it. Yeah. Again, not allowed in competition, but it's whatever, bro. Like. It's, okay. it's like street fighting. So I put my weight on it, and they, they move their face. I was like, perfect. I can move to my next position now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's real fighting. Like, all of these, a lot of these fighters are limited in their real ability to fight because of the rule set. Like, you okay. can't hit in the back of the head. You can't, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you can't do a bunch of craziness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Delusion illusion yeah i mean but it's all for entertainment that's what i'm saying it's like yeah. i think you should have known that yeah i think because i, cause, cause I think it's I because no no i think it's because you when, you're, really when you view the techniques yeah when you viewed the fights you you were more of studying the fight I versus, was, yeah. versus and, me who doesn't really care uh, yeah, you're looking at the more entertainment for value. entertainment exactly, value, exactly. and I also want to see oh those the, cameras, how the, they move. That's why I was so fascinated. I'm more into the production. One hundred percent. That's why I was so fascinated when I saw the fight in real life. I was like, oh, this is normal speed that I've sparred at. Mm-hmm. Like watching these people fight in the ring, I'm like, this is not that fast, but it seemed really fast from the camera because the camera kept changing every four seconds. So I was like, oh my god, these guys are at superhuman speed, yeah. and the angle too. I was like, when they dodge out of their face. 
they, they like dodge a punch. I was like, wow, that was so close, man. You almost got clipped. But then when you see it in real life, it's like, no, that punch was a million miles away. Mm -hmm. But because of the way that camera was angled, it yeah. looked like it nearly missed their face. Yeah, yeah. I was like, bro, this is what I do when I spar all the time. I keep a healthy distance away and there's no way, like I know my range and I'm like, you're not going to hit me, right? They know their ranges too, but when you put it in front of a camera, the camera makes it so that it looks like the range is so close. It looks like like thin margin of error, but it's really not. Like if you're really smart about it, you can keep your distance. Yeah. Which is again why Max Holloway defeated Brian Ortega because he's like, if 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 yeah. we close it, Max is only a purple belt. Brian is a really elite black belt. He's like, if we close the distance right now, you're going to destroy me. So if I just keep my range and I keep picking you off, I'm going to win this. And he did. That's exactly what he did. That's exactly what he did. But that's like, of course. that that's. But see, when you're watching on TV, you're like, you're like, oh, my God, I can't catch this. What's going on, right? Mm -hmm. You're caught up in the production. And then they're like, oh, Joe Rogan's such a great fight analyst. It's like, yeah, because he's actually watching the, li the live fight. Yeah. So you have the opportunity to see what's really going on. Mm -hmm. Not like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just fascinating. It's a whole production. It's... it's I, I feel like because I aspired so heavily to go to the UFC... <laughs> Not to fight in it, yeah, 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 but to like coach someone in it. Uh, I would like. I yeah. feel like I awakened from that delusion uh -huh. by going to it. I was like, it's really not as glamorous mm -hmm. as you think it is. So you normally stop there. Sorry. <laughs> so so but you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, I think now the only time I would go if somebody's like, "Hey, man, can you like you know, prepare me for this fight?" I'd be like, the first thing I'd say is like. Dude, really? That's head trauma. And I've been to one of them. It's like cockfighting. Mm -hmm. Like, do you really want to do it? And they're like, yeah, man, there's no other way for me to make money. Mm -hmm. I think, like, they say they say this kind of stuff all the time. It's like people who go there. Oh, just that playing a... with something. Hold on. Give me, give me a second. Give me a second, <laughs> listeners. One second. Oh, no, she does. <laughs> Why now, eh? Hawaii, USA. Why now? Why now? Okay, back. All right, sorry. Dog was getting into some craziness. I had to stop her. So, anyways, <laughs> um, what was the time at? Uh oh. Oh, uh, so I think that these fighters just have no other option in life. Except to fight, you know, they're like, yeah, oh, yeah. like, you know, they're like, there's nothing I'd rather do than fight, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, because what else would you be doing? Mm -hmm. Literally, what else? But that's why Mighty Mouse Johnson, he, even though he was the UFC world champion and stuff, he's like, yeah, I had, I had a job because I knew that if fighting ended, like, I'd just go back to my job because that has benefits and pay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and then when, when they say like, oh, I could have been this, it's like, if you could have, you would have been. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, I could, I, instead of fighting, I could have been an accountant. Well, no. Like, maybe yes in your head, but if you took the discipline that you used to fight in order to become an accountant, you would have just became an accountant, you know? But this was the easier path. Or, like, I really hope that Brian just stops fighting now. He's already completed what he said he wanted to do. He's like, he's like I just want to make it out of the ghetto. Right. He did that. He's like, I want to use this as a platform to get more things or like mm -hmm. gain more exposure. He did that. He's 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 the um, lead role in a upcoming movie. Oh, yeah. So it's like, why you need to fight anymore? But remember, um, uh, Brendan Schaub did that. He left. Yeah. Brendan Schaub was getting too many concussions, and now he's a comedian and a podcast host. Mm -hmm. Brian Ortega was always a fighter, like always a jujitsu teacher, right? But like. But see, here's here's the dispel. We were talking about this before, like the dispelling of the mystery. Like, w who knows if they, like Brian's like, like Brian said, like I only did this to test myself. It's like okay, sure, but like, are you also doing it to gain more memberships for the 
Academy? Yeah. Gain more exposure? I think yes. <laughs> maybe, 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 like, we don't know how much they were paying Brian. Maybe he was making, like, $30,000 a year. Mm-hmm. So he's like, okay. And they're like, all right, Brian, the only way you're going to make more money is if you become our soldier mm-hmm. and you fight in the UFC, show everyone how it's done. You know, like, you get to keep 90% of the winnings. And he's like, all right, cool, because you guys are only paying me 30000 So if I get 90%, then I can get all the sponsorship monies. Okay. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how it works. We don't know, but I'm saying, like, from a business perspective, that's kind of what happens, you know. Uh, Brian keeps winning. I don't know the why. Odds were, the odds were on Brian. <laughs> but so, but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's like we don't know. We really don't know what's going on behind the scenes. All right. And to think we know by watching the promos is not correct. Yeah, gotta, I think, uh, I, in my opinion, scene. yeah, you should know better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that, that's why I that's why I say uh, seeing through the scene. But when you read it, they're designed as commercials. What is a commercial meant to do? Hundred percent, hundred percent. But when when I wrote seeing through the scene, I wrote S C E E N. Mm-hmm. Like. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Not like what you're seeing, like the scene of the play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is what it is. You yeah. just don't want to be pissed on. Right. You know, that 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 salty rain is warm against my skin. <laughs> you should have known better. I know. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I know. I, it's because it's because I love martial arts and like, like yeah, yeah, like yeah. You, like you and all of our other friends, like Brent. Yeah. Uh, Sid. Jared, you're all like, yeah, of course. And I was like, but I didn't know. <laughs> I really thought, like, look, look at this belt on Brian right now, on right. the simulation Brian. It's like, does this make you a better human being? Does this, does this fulfill your life? If that's what you want. <laughs> but then, then what? Uh, the, the, then, uh, the, 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 person, the person on Joe Rogan's podcast, I forgot her name. But, yeah, anyways. So, like, she, the one who tore her, her knee... Uh, she said, she said every time she won a belt, she became depressed. Mm-hmm. And I was, and Joe was like, "What? But you're the champion of the world." I'm like, "No, no, because you had the realization of it's fake. I I worked so hard for this one goal, and then I achieved it, and I realized, oh, it's just leather and gold. Yeah, oh, yeah and yeah. more followers. Yeah. But at the end of the day, who are you as a person? Same sad, scared, lonely person <laughs> that you've always been. Right. You know." Yeah. Follower accounts don't e- equate to friends. Mm-hmm. Real friends equate to friends. And they say that you can only have like 12 really close friends. Oh, yeah. okay. But people have 5.2 million followers. Followers, not friends. Yeah, I know that. We should know that. I'm j- I know, but it's like... How did you not know that? No, I did know it, but I was hoping that there was at least one last thing in this world that was genuine. Uh-huh. Only to realize the true genuine is realizing how ungenuine the world really is. Okay. That's why people are like, oh, it's the illusion. The, all right. Like when I was saying before, I was telling you this a couple days ago, but when I was having this like conversation with like this, this like devout yogi. And yeah. she's like, wait, are you telling me that you see non-separation within separation? You see that the universe is all one at one time of light. Yeah, of course. And then she's like, wait, that's just ridiculously impossible. I'm like, no, 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 it's super easy. You just have to stop telling yourself the stupid story that you're believing. That's what I keep doing. Like, I would keep crushing the story. Like, oh, okay, you believe this is a reality? All right, go see it. And it's like, oh, crush the story. Only, only to realize that you're left with everything's an illusion. Mm-hmm. You know? Maybe at the end of the day, it's all piss. That's what I'm saying. Maybe it is. That's probably what they mean by, are you taking the piss? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, possibly. Like the, the British new. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. taking the piss right now? I think so. No, like, yeah, it's warm. You're trying to play me? Salty. Yeah. Mm. Uh, That's true. Are you trying to play me? <laughs> that is probably what it means, actually. I was walking. I like picked up Starbucks, and then I was like walking uh, back to our apartment. And I was like, that's what I thought. I was like. Are you taking the piss? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what that means? Because because right now I'm obsessed with that line. Don't pee on me and tell me it's raining. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, Are you taking the piss? And it's like, You're right. Are you trying to play me right now? Right. That is what it means. Yeah. So just realize that 
the world's peeing on you at all times, and uh, you have to see through the illusion of it being rain. It's really piss. Or know it's an illusion. No, it's an illusion and enjoy it. And enjoy that illusion. Do you know what that's called? That's called Zen mindset. Are we not entertained? That's what it's called. Are we not entertained? So, like, so uh, I read this book, The um, Osho on Zen. Yeah. Actually, I've read like three books on Zen already. And I'm going to keep reading more because I'm, I'm fascinated by this philosophy now. But, like, he says that yoga is the beginning, Zen is the end. And I'm like, I don't get it. So. Again, in that conversation, there's one person's like, oh, but attachments are so difficult to let go of. And I'm like, yeah, of course it is difficult to let go of. Like, our whole world is built up of attachment. Mm -hmm. And she's like, but the whole pursuit of spiritual gain and enlightenment is to let go of all your attachments. And I'm like, you're right. And I went down that path too. And you know what that path leads you to? Nihilism. Because then you're like, so what's the freaking point? Might as well kill yourself. Like, unattached from everything then. All right, so unattached from your own goddamn life. But then, but then, so that's yoga. Fully unattach yourself. But Zen is all about realizing that once you've detached yourself from everything, that the only thing left is to detach yourself from detachment itself. And enjoy your experience because this is all you get. Yes, it is an illusion. I, oh, ah, uh, oh, okay, okay. I have my answer. Remember how I had that, that idea of uh, uh, my life of a video game? Yeah. I had that one revelation where I was outside of Pete's Pizza and then I saw like it was like twenty thirteen, it was a long time ago. And then I was like, Oh man, we're we're playing Sims right now. If you play Fable and you own a shop or you play like Elder Scrolls, it's the exact same thing as what I'm doing as I walk with my friend to get pizza. Mm-hmm. Right? We're on a quest. Yeah. And then I thought uh as I was going to the UFC weigh ins, I was like, Oh, what if life was like you have 75 years and then each round of life is 24 hours. Mm-hmm. So you set out with this goal. Imagine if life was a video game and this is really what it could be. Before you enter the video game, they're like, okay, in order to win this video game, I want you to achieve X, Y, and Z. Ready? Go. You've got 75 years and then 24 hour increments to get this done. But you have to leave the video game. That's why we go to sleep. So it's like, okay, you got that round one done, 24 hours. Round two done, 24 hours. You know what I mean? And then like at the end of it, when you die, it's like, all right, how far did you get completed? And then the winner of the video game is the one who checked off the most off their list. That's why people have bucket lists. Yeah, yeah that's the point of bucket lists, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. My life of video game, that's, it's really a video game. If you think of it that way. Yeah. You have 75 years to complete all of your tasks and you're playing rounds of 24. So it's sort of like the yeah, UFC. I mean, it's sort the words of, like, of Elon Musk, we're in a simulation. We're in a simulation. It, it's just like UFC. We know that there's 15 minutes to get the job done. Yeah. But they're in five-minute rounds. Yeah. So it's the exact same thing. You have 75 years to get it done, but they're in 24-hour rounds. Right. My life a video game. And don't take the piss. You're taking the piss. <laughs> taking the piss, bro. Right. That's, that's what's going on. But the whole world's a piss. <laughs> <laughs> really, right? Okay. But yeah, I like salty food, so. Okay. I, I like it when my food is salty and uh, warmed up in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> so I enjoy taking the piss. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Sure. Wait, hold on. Last thing, last thing. It's funny because in the Zen book, they said that Zen people are very straight to the point and they're so ridiculous Mm -hmm. because they're trying to show you how ridiculous life is by being ultra ridiculous. Right. It's like comedians. Mm -hmm. It's like my joke just now about I like salty food that's been warmed up in the microwave. So I love taking the piss. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay. It's so hard to be so woke. (laughs) 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 All right. Final thoughts? Anything? Anything else you want to say that we didn't air out? Uh, not that I was entertained, though. What? You I weren't entertained? I was, Were you not entertained? I was entertained. Oh, I was entertained. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. You, you know, you know um, uh, Dana White's kind of like... Uh, oh, oh, Dana White's totally making that bank. Like, oh, yeah. So I was thinking about it. You pay $3,000 for one fighter on the under. He's right there. Yeah, you see uh, Dana White's right there, yeah. <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down, Dana? <laughs> Kill him. Mm. You know. Um, 
So, so you pay three thousand dollars for one fighter on the undercard. It costs you between one and ten thousand dollars for a front row ticket. Oh yeah. Yeah, you just bought three fighters, mm. one person. So who's making all that other money? Are you taking the piss? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dude, it's warm, warm and salty out here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the arena makes that much. How much do they take? Well, no, because they have to pay for the employees. They have to pay for the arena. They have to pay for the equipment. Yeah. Of course, there's a lot that goes into this. But when you follow the money, you understand what's going on. Mm-hmm. Plus, they, they owe a billion dollars because they, they took out they got investors, so they have to pay those investors back, which is like $3 billion. I don't know, something like ridiculous. Probably not a billion. I think that's a huge number. But yeah. Honestly, I think, I think Zen Buddha Joe Rogan knows, knows what we're talking about right now. I really believe that. Right. And if he doesn't, you're taking the piss. <laughs> <laughs> As he has my new tagline from now on forever. Well, yeah, he does say, you know, why... Like, why do the fight? Like, why? Yeah, he's always like, I would never fight in this. This is silly. Right. So true, though. Yeah. All right. I guess that's all. <laughs> you, uh, you aired out everything. Yeah, I aired out everything. <laughs> I, you, it you was know, mainly you, you that you, was... I know, it was just cheese. I was like, <laughs> oh, my God. You, you, if you're listening to this and you're like, wow, you sound really salty right now. I'm like, yeah, piss is salty, bro. <laughs> Wait, you drank piss before? Yeah, I've been drinking a lot of piss. Oh, okay. All right. I know. I, that's probably what they mean like oh you're so salty right now but it's like no I'm just woke right now bro god damn hmm. egg woke okay <laughs> <laughs> sprinkle sprinkle some salt the yellow sprinkle some salt on that egg woke and warm it up cause you're taking a piss <laughs> alright till next time that's your phrase from now on yeah that is, that is my, that's the zen phrase oh, it's, somebody when I died somebody's gonna be like wow there was a zen master that like <laughs> always always talking about taking a piss and then and then and then other people remember I told you like those people that were like I was just explaining something I was like no no it's not that great guys like blah, blah, blah. I was like it's pretty simple and then and they're like oh my god you're, a, you're the guru now you're the guru to me I was like are you taking the piss you know, you know what I mean it's like it's like that's how you take it too far. It's like just don't listen, don't listen to my words, but listen to what I'm saying. You know, because a lot of people just look at the words. They're like, "Oh, he dresses like this. He must know. Oh, he's speaking in this language. He must know." It's like no. But that's don't the listen. marketing part of that. Too. Exactly. Listen to what's really being said. That's why I wrote the uh, in my in my bio on Instagram. It's like uh, seven billion voices, one message. Listen close. I think this was the only fight that came out true. Same thing. Oh, this one? He lost? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, the King guy lost. Well, even the, the only fight even, that came Even the true. video game gave him a little love, and then in the end, didn't love him. <laughs> okay. We were not entertained. Yes. Thumbs down, Dana. But I will still, no, no, but still, this is the zen of it, right? Like, even though I know I'm being taken the piss for, now I know what to use it for. I'm using it to study. I will just. Watch my fights on Fight Pass, learn the technique, be fascinated, but never go to another UFC in my life. <laughs> I'd never. Unless, again, unless, like, there was somebody who had nothing better to do in their life, and I'm like, sure. I'd probably do it just for the experience, and then I'd be like, I'm never cornering you again. <laughs> and they're like, but, I'm like, no, I really did that for me. I took a piss on you. Right. <laughs> All right, Till next time. Young money, cash money. Hey, can you just go down for a second? Down. Who's that Santos Asenroth? How come that person's face isn't filled in? Uh, they don't have that character in the game. Ooh, that's awkward. Sad Same point. with this one. That's why I couldn't play them. Oh, makes sense, makes sense. All right, well. Oh, wait, hold on. All right, so if you're listening to this, sorry, but Max Holloway and Ortega look really lifelike. Shevchenko and Joanna and Jacek, they, she doesn't look the same, right? As their human counterparts. And Gunnar Nelson looks exactly like Gunnar Nelson. It sucks that, like, some of the coders were like, all right, you know what? Because you're famous and we're going to market you well, we're going to make this amazing look. Probably, yeah. But then the other one, like, eh. Depends on how much nodes they get on their face to capture that. Exactly, yeah. Ortega looks exactly like Ortega. And Holloway looks exactly like Holloway. Mm -hmm. Right? They look exactly. Anyways, yeah, all right. Well, does she? 
This is her, right? Yeah. On the... She doesn't look like her. Yeah, that's Shevchenko. Yeah. Look, look, look at Shevchenko. Doesn't look the same. She, you can obviously Has tell that's similar CGI, like structure. CGI, bro. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. And then Yun Jacek. Look at Yun Jacek. Like, similar, but it's like... Similar, but really... Nah, like, those cheekbones are not really toned out. Yeah. Right. Then, yeah, it's got that. I got that. Yeah. All right, well... Yeah. Cool. Actually, one more thing, because we're on the screen. So, Gadea? Gadea? Is that girl right there? Gadea? Yeah. Um, so, or it's, it's not a rumor. Okay. It's going to sound like it's a rumor when it comes out of my mouth. But, like, the reason, another reason why I like, I like Ortega is he knows that he's in the simulation of UFC, right? Mm-hmm. So he's going to maximize on his enjoyment out of it, right? Like, I was watching his walk-in, like, when he entered the building. He was just, like, he was cool, calm, and it's like, how come you're so cool and calm? You're about to be punched in the face. He's like, yeah, because this doesn't define me. Like, I'm just going to, like, whatever. This is just my job for tonight. This is me in this moment, right? He said it. He's like, if you put a cowboy hat on me, I'm going to be a cowboy. If you put a uh, camera in front of me, I'm going to be an actor. If you put me in the ring, I'm going to be a UFC fighter. I don't know who I am. And I was like, that's the most zen thing you can say because it's like, you are no one. You're just adapting who you are to that situation, Mm -hmm. right? So on Instagram, he insinuated that him and Galdea got down. And I'm like, yeah, why would you not, though? You're, you're like, freaking taking advantage of the situation, bro. You're in it. (laughs) Enjoy it. Right. You know? That's what the Zen master would say. All right. That's what you wanted to add? That's what I wanted to – because I saw it, and I was like, you know what? All right. (laughs) So next time, I'm going to spend the week taking a piss and – figure out what's what should have known better i should have known better you're right you're right you all told me all right till next time peace peace bye bye